Okay, let us revise that quiz that you've recently submitted. Okay, and the first one is, in the above lines, the author mentions several companies primarily too. Again, this is a purpose question. Purpose question. Why did the author mention several companies? And let us read together. The forum, the conference, comes hot on the heels. Well, I want people to write hot on the heels means what? Immediately. So comes on the heels means immediately. So the forum, the conference, comes hot on the heels of the 2012 unveiling of two private asteroid mining firms. Planetary Resources of Washington says it will launch its first prospecting telescopes in two years. This is company number one. What else? While Deep Space Industries of Virginia, that's company number two, what they're going to do? Hopes to be harvesting metals from asteroids by 2020. They will collect metals from asteroids. Another commercial venture company that sprung up in 2012 started Golden Spike of Colorado. This is company number three. Will be offering trips to the moon, including to potential lunar miners. The question is, why did the author mention several companies primarily to? Hmm, Sama? Thank you very much. I'll go for B. Provide evidence of the growing interest in space mining. That's for sure. Um, let us go for A. Note the technological advances. There was no mention of technological advances. Thank you very much. Emphasize the large profits to be made. No large profits mentioned. Highlight the diverse ways, the different ways to carry out space mining. Okay. Was no mention. Thank you very much. Question number two here. To make this paragraph most logical, sentence five should be placed. That's writing. Sentence five should be placed. And let us do it this way. And let us read sentence number five first. Okay? Type. If it is improperly introduced, here we have got. You remember? Sana, unexplained. Unexplained what? Unexplained pronoun. Perfect. So we have got here unexplained pronoun. If it is improperly introduced into the environment, what would happen? Acid way, runoff, can pollute waterways. One, depleting the oxygen content of streams and rivers as it decomposes. Thank you very much. People went for sentence number two. Why is that? I don't have to explain that much because mainly it was a homework. Let us go to sentence number what? Sentence number two. Of course, uh, uh, um, where it is now, if you read sentence number four together with sentence number five, they don't match. We have got unexplained pronoun. Let us go to sentence number two. Because it requires, it here refers to what? The main environmental problem caused the production of Greek yogurt. So that's what the Greek yogurt. So it here is explained. Because it requires up to four times more milk to make than conventional yogurt does, Greek yogurt produces large amounts of acid whey, which is difficult to dispose of. And I want people to write dispose of means what? Get rid of. So I think it's very close to what? To sentence number what? Exactly. So sentence number five should be moved to what after sentence number two? Thank you very much. Any questions here? Question number three has to do with vocabulary in context. Thank you very much. History suggests that those will be hard lines to hold. And remember this. And may be difficult to persuade the public that such barren environments are worth preserving. Mr. Hold here. Is it quite tangible, physical, or it has got completely different meaning? Okay. Of course, hold here doesn't have to do with what? With grip. So grip means what? Grasp tightly. Of course, no. 
restraint stop or prevent withstand yeah life withstand means what yabni huh resist or hold back as i told you okay mister what does it mean maintain by the way maintain has got different what different meanings maintain it could be what it could be a uh, 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 continue enable to continue it could be a uh, 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 keep that's maintain but here in these lines history suggests that those will be hard lines to hold hold here means what believe hold here means what means uh, uh, it could be digest it could be swallow uh, when i say i can't swallow what you say like you are a liar you are a big liar i can't digest your story or your version of the story okay so here hold has to do with what with with uh, believe digest okay and remember this one when i say an example like this um some people some people believe that um let us write about um, competitive sports competitive sports at schools of course um are unnecessary whereas Bainama others maintain remember this maintain they competitive sports or let us write competitive sports they uh, let us say uh, improve improve uh, good characteristics or good uh, personal or char character traits character traits maintain means believe hopefully you understand the word let us go to question number four yogurt manufacturers one food scientists two and government official three yeah, but this is listing and when i say listing i mean parallelism in that case we need to go for what for c you have got no problem with that question number five the summer of 2012 was the warmest in 70 or 170 years record show but jason box an associate professor of geology at ohio state believed that another factor added to the early thaw the dark snow problem thank you very much it is c yeah hodger teacher what does that mean of course here we are all quite confident about this yeah that a semicolon joins two independent clauses but here this part the dark snow problem this is only a phrase this is only what a phrase so it's not a complete idea or complete sentence okay yes it is preceded by a complete uh, clause here that's fine but it is followed by what by a phrase so for sure we will never go for a semicolon and of course semicolon and is completely wrong uh, being is always wrong okay and a is wrong so i have to go for what for throwing uh, or throw and then colon thank you very much question number six typically the ice sheet begins to show evidence of thawing in late summer this follows you remember this followed by what followed by verb is completely wrong this follows several weeks of higher temperatures okay and we said it many times okay uh, uh um, what is the rule if you still remember i bet you are all aware of this huh? subject plus verb comma ing this is what we've said uh, many times okay so we go for what we go for a uh, if you look at uh, b and this throwing and thaw here throwing throwing so that's repetition same thing here and uh, and uh, this evidence follows that's command it's a bit wordy we never go for 
So hopefully you understand. It's an easy question. Let's go to question number seven. What function does the discussion of water in line 35 to 38 serve? And by the way, this is reading question. As you can see here, it's a beguiling mix of reading and writing, okay? Because it's, it's, it's a short, short quiz after all. Yes, tell me. What function? So this is what a function or purpose question. Does the discussion of water in line 35 to 38 serve? And I need to start, by the way, I need to start from here. In this scenario, water mined from other worlds could become the most desired commodity, something quite precious, valuable. In the desert, what's worth more, a kilogram of gold or a kilogram of water? Ask Chris, asks Chris Zachney of Honey Bee Robotics in New York. Gold is useless, water will let you live. And then starting from 35 to 38, let us read it and see the function of the discussion. Water ice from the moon's poles could be, and I want people to circle could be. You remember? You remember, Yahajar? What does mean could be? Sort of hypothesis. Sort of assumption. Could be sent to astronauts on the International Space Station for drinking or as a radiation shield, as a protection from radiation, ya Maryam, ya Saleh. Splitting water into oxygen and hydrogen makes spacecraft fuel. So ice-rich asteroids could become circulate interplanetary refueling stations. So here, I want to see your answers. What function does this discussion of water in line 35 to 38 serve? Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. C, and we're going to say why it offers hypothetical examples. Supporting a claim. What is the claim made in the what? In the previous paragraph. That's the claim made in the previous paragraph about how water is important. How water is indispensable for what? For human beings and for life in general. So these are hypothetical examples. How do I know, Yatari? Hypothetical examples? Okay, take this here and go to could be could become hopefully it is clear let's go to question number question number eight question number eight yes thank you very much greek yogurt business have found many methods of controlling and eliminating most environmental threats given these solutions as well as the many health benefits of the food the advantages of greek yogurt how would do the potential drawbacks of its what of its production of course everyone knows this expression huh. do you remember the advantages outweigh the disadvantages i mean you have heard this a lot and maybe you have written it in articles and essays at school okay and by the way you say you come to the conclusion of your essay or article and you say what well, therefore the advantages outweigh the the, the the drawbacks or the disadvantages by the way i mean though it is used by some writers okay but this sentence is quite cliches means what it's not recommended it's overused it's trite but it is there. I'll go for uh, the advantages outweigh the disadvantages. I need to say something here about the use of out before a noun or a verb. When I use, when I use out before a verb or a noun, thank you, Yalaith. So it means, it means, so here I can use a verb or I can use a noun. So it means better than, or as life said, more than. Thank you. Um, I can have um, cry, outcry. And outcry means what? Means shout. Um, I have uh, maybe a, a, a run. And I say outrun. Outrun means what? Run faster. Run 
faster than somebody else. What else? Uh, let us take this one. Um, I have live. Outlive means what? Live longer than somebody else. Sometimes I can use it with nouns and I say rage. Rage means what? Means anger, right? And I can say outrage. Sorry. Outrage um, means arousing, arousing anger. Okay. Um, sometimes I use out, by the way, ya Maryam, uh, not to, um, to have this meaning, like better than or more than. It could be the opposite of the word. Uh, look at this word here, low, which is a noun. If I go for out low, out low, it means what? It means ban or uh, make, make illegal. Okay, hopefully you understand uh, uh, when we add uh, out before a verb or a noun, uh, what is the meaning of, of the word. Okay, then let us go to here to the last question that we have. And here, um, it's vocabulary in context again. Thank you very much. Uh, in the paragraph, in the paragraph, the word ambivalent most nearly means. I don't have to remind you that amb means what? As a prefix means what? Means both. Okay. Um, if you still don't know the word, so you need to read the text. Okay. Uh, uh, let us start from uh, here. This frequent experience of gift giving can engender, cause ambivalent feelings in gift givers. Till now, if you are not aware of the word ambivalent, okay, in what way it can gender or cause ambivalent feelings? You need to complete reading. Many relish, enjoy the opportunity to buy presents because gift giving offers powerful means to build stronger bonds with one's closest peers. That would ensure a very good relationship with their peers, with their whatever friends and colleagues. At the same time, many dread the thought they don't like of buying gifts they worry that their purchases will disappoint rather than delight the intended recipient like those people who are going to receive their gifts will never be happy so we have got those people who are happy and those who are not happy so ambivalent has sort of what thank you very much conflicted conflicted um, uh, your response for this quiz uh, were not bad at all uh, and as i told you most of you did a gr great job um, but uh, as I showed you here, okay, this is uh, your analytics. Some did pretty good job, but even like two or three out of this group haven't uh, submitted it. Uh, so looking forward to uh, seeing better performance next time. Thanks galore and goodbye. <laughs>